seeing this vlog that means I did not go on a trip <laughs> um so basically I'm supposed to be going on a trip for Christmas time and I say supposedly because everybody in a group has their passport but we're just waiting for one person to get their passport um my passport doesn't expire until 2024 so I'm good on that front um but the person who actually won the trip did not have their passport so they basically have to get an expedited passport and their appointment is not until next week which is the same weekend that we leave to go on a cruise so basically i can go ahead and tell y'all now um my friend keisha she won a cruise on virgin cruise lines um to go to the dominican republic and bimini so it's basically a christmas cruise um that she won we leave on friday and then we come back wednesday i actually already had these appointments already booked um, for me to get my nails done and get a pedicure because I just basically do that like every two weeks um, when I get paid. So right now I'm headed to go get my nails done. My appointment is at 1030 and then I don't have my pedicure and my eyebrow appointment until um, next week. But yeah, by the time y'all see this video, uh, we would have already went on the cruise if we actually went um, and are back in the United States. So today, this morning, I woke up and I booked my um, shore excursion. And also we were just kind of having like some discussion as far as like the bar package and stuff like that. I don't really drink like that. So, um, you know, like if Keisha wanted to get the bar package, I was down to get it. But basically, when I called the cruise line, they were explaining that, you know, everything is practically separate. So if only one person in a room wants to get the bar package, they could do that. Um, I personally would just like rather like put money down because it's a cashless and um, like credit cardless, debit cardless cruise. So everything is like on your wristband. So personally, I would just rather put like a small amount down on my wristband to pay for drinks than to actually get like a full package because I'm not really a drinker like that. And I know at most, the only thing I would really be purchasing is maybe like some daiquiris, some little pink coladas or something like that. I'm not, I'm not really a drinker. But anyway, that's neither here nor there. We were kind of um, trying to discuss a whole bunch of stuff but yeah so like i said i'm headed to go get my nails done um i actually have a package that should be coming to lane bryant it was a swimsuit that i found because i needed to order an extra swimsuit um depending on like the type of shore excursions or whatever we do on board so I did like a ship to store purchase. So it's supposed to be going to the store today, but I may not pick that up until next week. I need to go home and like try on everything that I'm supposedly like putting inside of this luggage because this trip was so last minute. So I had to like pick a lot of stuff from my closet. And thankfully, like I do have, you know, things in my closet that are new with tags on it. So it wasn't like a problem, but I just kind of like need to go home, coordinate my outfits, put them together so I can have like a full picture of what I'm packing. Um, what else? I had purchased some loungewear to kind of like wear on board the 
shipped on our like sea days but i'm about to return it to old navy because they were too big for me so i'm about to return those and honestly if i don't find anything else that i like i'm just about to like find maybe like a little dress or something out of my closet um to pack to kind of like lounge around in or i also me and keisha was cracking up because she was like she was gonna bring her moo moo <laughs> so i think i may go to like ross or something find me like a little cute like little moo moo or something like that that looks like a sundress or something to kind of like we're on board like on those sea days like when we're lounging and stuff i don't know this trip is like so last minute so i'm just trying to like organize and get myself together and on top of that we don't know if we're actually gonna go <laughs> um because you know it wouldn't be fair to still go if the person who won the trip can't even go so yeah um so we'll see um oh i also want to show y'all these boots that i got from walmart but i have to return them because unfortunately they did not like zip up my calf all the way so i'm gonna show y'all these boots are so fire um i only got them for like 35 dollars and they're from the scoop brand so if your calf is a little bit skinnier than mine definitely go on the walmart website and buy these boots um i'm about to i'm gonna insert like a glance of them so y'all can see how they look because i'm about to return those but i just wanted to come check in with y'all really quickly just to start the vlog off this is gonna be like i said a little get ready with me video um hopefully the footage turns out good because i just feel like it may be a little bit all over the place <laughs> because this whole crew situation is all over the place. So yeah, this is like the official cruise gate basically because I don't even know if we actually gonna go on the cruise, but I have faith and I believe God wouldn't let Keisha win this cruise to not let her go. You know what I'm saying? And she actually won this cruise through her job. She is a healthcare worker. So um, her job, had organized like this raffle or whatever and she won so she invited me to go along and I'm so grateful that she invited me to go along because I haven't been anywhere this year aside from New Orleans for my birthday and that was in January and my birthday about to come around again so yeah I have so much to catch y'all up on but I'm not gonna catch y'all up in this vlog I'm gonna catch y'all up and probably um another vlog that i do and upload so yeah i'm gonna check in with y'all later let me pay attention to the road because the traffic is a little hectic right now so peace out what's up you guys so i just finished getting my nails done well actually maybe about like 20 minutes ago i just finished getting my nails done i just got something like super simple i don't even know if y'all can really see it because of the sun but it's super simple. I just got like a cut down and like a fill in and then I just made her put some clear top coat. Cause at first I was gonna go with black, but then I was like, eh, I like how simple and cute that they look. So I was like, can you just polish them clear and call it a day? <laughs> I'm super tired. I'm heading back home. I've been sitting in traffic, like it's horrible. I just stopped at, um. Publix. I was going to give me a public sub. Y'all, if y'all from Florida or just the South and y'all got a Publix, y'all know about the public subs. But I just wound up getting Publix chicken, which is even better because the line for the subs was too long. And I was like, I'm just annoyed. Like, I'm really just annoyed today. And let's talk about how my appointment was actually for 10 o'clock but i actually wound up showing up at 10 30 because that's what i thought i read but no it was 10 o'clock so thankfully dina was still able to hook me up and um yeah she wanted to do a christmas design but honestly i was not feeling it i was like girl just leave me cute plain and simple I need to head to the post office really quickly because my wig should have arrived so I'm about to go try to pick that up and then I'm going to just go home and relax. All the um, errands that I was going to run, I'm just going to run them sometime next week because <laughs> I really don't feel like doing 
doing much of anything. I do work tonight at six, but I don't know if I'm going to work because after just sitting in that traffic, like I just don't even feel like driving back up to go to work. Um, I just ate and now I'm settled. When I went to the post office, I did not know that my um Lane Bryan package had came. I ordered some, oh, y'all can't even see me. I ordered some like new bras and like underwear from Kasik. The underwears, which they always have the underwears five for like 35 and then the bras, they had them buy one, get one 80. So I took advantage of that sale. As y'all can see, my room has slightly turned into a hair studio. Um, I'm bleaching two wigs today. Please do not mind these clothes over here in this corner. It's looking a little ratchet, but I am a visual person. And those are all the clothes that I am taking with me on either the possible cruise trip and then my actual set in stone trip um, in January. So yeah, let me get up out this house because I need to go to the beauty supply store. Hey, what's up you guys? Y'all see my beautiful face? The skin is looking popping. I'm bald head shorty today because I did not throw on a wig. I honestly did not intend on leaving my house, but I wound up having to leave my house because I need to go to the beauty supply store. So I was in the middle. Hopefully y'all can hear me because I got the AC kind of blasting. It's freaking 81 degrees in December. I just don't understand. But anyway, I was in the process of starting to bleach my wigs and I forgot some supplies. So I need to go to the beauty supply store and give me some purple shampoo, cause your girl's going to need it. Um, and while I'm there, I'm just gonna go ahead and buy like some more bleach. And I have a 10 volume developer. I don't have 40, so I'm gonna um, buy a 40 volume developer. Um, I got the 10 cause y'all, this is my first time actually bleaching some wigs and your girl is a beginner. I don't be bleaching wigs. But since I'm trying to be more sustainable going into the New Year's, and when I say sustainable, I'm trying to be like more self-fulfilled, like just doing more stuff by myself, basically. Okay, so this is me bleaching the wigs. I don't know, I feel like I made the mixture like a little bit too watery. I did try to go back in and like put some more powder in it to thicken it up. So we'll see. I'm gonna let it sit for like 10 minutes. Hopefully I don't over bleach it. A little part of me forgot that I was filming the vlog. <laughs> oh, Y'all today has been one of those days, but it's all good. It's all right. I'm gonna push for it. We're gonna make it through. So Keisha did officially get her passport. So we're definitely going on a cruise um, next weekend. So I can officially start packing, even though I already started to pack. Um, I just left Lane Bryant from picking up my um, order that I purchased online, which was a swimsuit. So I'm gonna go home and try that one. And then I also wound up going to Ulta because I wanted to pick up a brow pomade. But I honestly wind up picking up more stuff while I was in there. So I'm going to show y'all that when I get home. I'm going to show y'all the swimsuit when I get home. Hey guys, so I'm literally just getting back home and relaxed. So I wanted to show y'all what I got today. This just came in the mail, which was those... Um, mascara brushes that I was telling y'all about um, earlier in the vlog. I think I told y'all about um, this TikTok that I saw where this girl applied her falsies like under and then basically she used a mascara wand and dipped it in the eyelash glue, put some eyelash glue on her actual lashes, and then um, went back and stuck the lashes on. So I wanna try that method. I think I, I, think I told y'all about it earlier. If I did, apologies for the repeat. 
I went to Ulta. Y'all can see. I got some beauty blenders. I got some Tree Hut Sugar Scrub. The coconut lime one is my favorite. It smells so good. Then I also picked up the Coco Colada. I don't think I've actually used this one before. My main reason for going to Ulta was because I wanted a brow pomade. I picked this one up from NYX in the color Espresso. Then while I was there, I picked up this white concealer. Um, I already have like a brightening concealer that's lighter than the concealer that I actually use, but I think I already talked to y'all about that previously. The girls on TikTok was like, if you know, you know. So the one that I actually purchased was from LA Colors. And of course, this is LA Girls. So I was just like, let me pick it. Pick. I was like, let me pick that up. You can never have too much makeup. And then I got this glass lip gloss uh, from Juvia's Place. It's called It's Glass. And it's just a regular, you know, little lip gloss. So I was like, I wanted to try this out. So that's all that I picked up from Ulta. Then I really needed to pick up this package from Lane Bryant because it has my swimsuit in it. But I'm gonna be taking on a cruise. I got in a size 18 because it was the only size that was left, um, which I gotta try this on because I purchased it after I read the reviews and on the reviews, they were basically saying that it runs small. So hopefully it fits. This is how it looks. And then it's supposed to be kind of like a cross body like off the shoulder type situation so i'm gonna wear this i have these like black mesh pants you know the ones that the girlies was wearing over the summer with the little flowy sides um so yeah hopefully hopefully if it's honestly like i'm looking at it and i think it may be like too big because i don't really buy a lot of things from um lane bryant aside from like their bras and stuff like that through the cacique line because a lot of lane bryant's clothes is too big for me even though it's plus size so i'm gonna try this one hopefully it fits but y'all i'm about to call it a night i've been on my feet all day and your girl is tired so peace out and y'all so i'm in walmart so return the shoes that I was telling y'all about. This is not even a regular vlog. It's not supposed to be. It's supposed to be a get ready with me vlog, but at this rate, it's kind of turning into regular content. But I came across um, Super Sense crayon case. I hadn't seen her stuff. So I picked up what was left of it. So, it's unfortunate that they don't have the eyeshadow palette here. Um, Cause if they did, I definitely would have got it. And I'm also, I saw these like little lounge sets because I need something to wear around the ship when we're at our sea days and it's about two. So yeah, I don't know, but. It's literally me in my pajamas midday, looking like I don't wear nobody's job, although I'm at work from home. But um, I know I was telling y'all that I went to Walmart this morning. Um, I inserted like a little bit of footage, not too much. Like I said, I was making a return. And while I was in there, I came across the crayon case collection. So I got this, which is the um, Slate Academy Press Highlighter Powder. Let me open it. It 
low key, this has really turned into a regular vlog instead of like a get ready with me because I'm just taking y'all all over the world. Oh, this is so cute. I'm not even gonna act like I know how much I paid for this, but this is how the highlight looks. Oh, it's popping. It's such like a really nice gold. Then I picked up her Chalk Dust Setting Powder. I got it in the color N. I prayed that this worked. I tried to look up some comparisons um, cause the color chart that Walmart had wasn't really the best. Um, so I feel like N is the most suitable. I hope it is. How do you open this? Let me hurry up and go a little faster cause I have to hop on a meeting at one o'clock. So this is how the color N looks. I think this was a good choice. Um, it looks very much similar to the Revolution Banana Deep. So yeah, I think N was a great choice. I'm happy that I went with that. And then I also picked up these liquid lipsticks. This is in the color short. which is like this really nice red color. Oh, I love the bottle. Oh, this red. This red love fire. And then I also picked up the color Adams. I don't know if it's gonna focus. Which is like, kind of like this nudish color. Yeah. All right, y'all. So I just wanted to check back in with y'all really quickly. Like such a freaking mom. So as y'all can see, I have my luggage spread out. We got the Glamaholic duffel and the Juicy Couture luggage. I'm literally over here charging all of my portable chargers. And then I have my shoes and I'm gonna put them in those dust bags. Then I have my clothes. I have my undergarments, pajamas, accessories. Y'all, I'm bringing my own towel and my own rag and my own pillowcases. And these are more accessories. And then I have my Glamaholic totes. I have put in my, I don't know if my makeup is gonna fit in here, but at this rate, it's currently filled with all my hair supplies. So I'm gonna take that out most likely and just put my makeup in here. I have all my hygiene products in here. I have my Glamaholic jewelry case. And then I have, my wipes i got my lysol got my lysol got my off spray so we are set to go i just need to go to the car and grab like a few masks out of my car to make sure i put inside of my tote so yeah i'm gonna wash when i washed this wig just now this is like my headband wig so i washed that and then this one i think i already showed y'all i washed this of course and did it up bleached the knots i'm not taking this wig Although I did like wash it and curl it. Y'all tell me if the knots looked okay. I don't know. It was my first time bleaching the knots. But I'm still about to go back in um, with some, some spray to just define it a little bit more. Because I don't know. It don't look bleached to me. But it was my first time. So it is. All right. So we're back in, in action. I'm heading to the nail salon. I got about a good 40 minutes before I need to get there because my appointment is at four o'clock. Hopefully y'all can hear me. First of all, who do I think I am? Because it's no sun out <laughs> at all. It's gloomy and rainy and I still got my sunglasses on because I'm just really feeling like that girl. Like this is the wig, uh, well, one of the wigs that I would say that I slayed how the parting looks um first of all i glued this down but i really needed to bring it up more on my forehead a little bit more i feel like it's pushed back because i got forehead so i feel like i could have just brought it up like a couple of more inches but i'll know better for next time um this is a 26 inch wig from beauty forever it was straight but 
I wall curled it and so I'm really feeling feeling it like feeling good looking good you know honestly y'all I really need to end this vlog and I want to end this vlog because I feel like it's going on and on and on um it was my goal to like end this vlog today but I wanted to take y'all to the shoe store with me or at least if I went to the shoe store I wanted to tell y'all about the shoes that I got like I really don't need to go to the shoe store because it's really not like a big deal um and if I do actually find something I could just talk about it like in another vlog but I just wanted to bring y'all along with me so yeah I need to go get my pedicure and get my eyebrows done which I'm heading to now I want to go to Ulta because I have this 20% off coupon and you can actually use it on fragrance mind y'all I went to Ulta earlier in this vlog but I was already in the line when it hit me that I should have looked at the fragrances and the line was really long because I wanted to look at the Gucci Gucci <laughs> what is wrong with me I'm so tongue tied I wanted to look at the Gucci uh, I think it's the Flora the new one that they came out with I wanted to smell that one I wanted to look at the Burberry Her because Ulta had sent me a magazine and I was able to smell that one and I really liked it. And um, I wanted to look at this, I think it's by Lancome, um, Chelsea Janae. Hopefully I'm saying her name right. I know I'm saying Chelsea right, but am I saying Janae? Yeah, Chelsea Janae, I, I believe I'm saying it right. <laughs> um, she, had featured uh this perfume from lancome called idol i'm i'm gonna say it's idol because it's i-d-o-l-e and um she said it smelled really good so i was like let me check it out especially because this coupon is 20 percent off and you can use it on a fragrance so i was like oh i need to go back to ulta because it expires on the 24th and then on top of that I wanted to I need to get another brow pencil because my brow pencil broke so I need to get another brow pencil from Anastasia and earlier in this vlog I told y'all about the dip brow from NYX it worked but I used it incorrectly and I wasted a lot of the product because it does not come with a lot of product so I'm actually wanting to check out the dip brow from Anastasia as well so i'm like let me just take advantage of this coupon I just finished getting my eyebrows done oh, eyebrows so fleek love how she does my eyebrows like my eyebrows are so thin but she still gives me like an arch now i'm about to get ready to go to ulta Forgive me if I'm looking rough. I just got back home. I ate and I'm ready to get in the shower and relax. But I just wanted to show y'all what I got from Ulta really quickly. So, first of all, I got this free gift, which is this plush throw um, because I made a fragrance purchase. Let me take all of my mail <laughs> out of this bag. Sorry, y'all. Let me take all this junk up out of here that has nothing to do with Ulta. Right. Okay, so I got the um, plush throw because I got a fragrance purchase and I know I was telling y'all earlier in the video that 
Kelsey, she mentioned this Lancome perfume on her page and or on her channel. And um, I want to see that 20% off coupon because it's very rare that you get a percentage off of fragrance at Ulta. So it was $59 and with the 20% coupon, it came down to $47. 20. and this is the 0.8 size because this is all that they had left i smelled that gucci flora i did not like the smell of that like it wasn't doing what it needed to do um if anything i really would have preferred to get the burberry her but they didn't have any in stock so this was my last option but it's a really good option this is how the packaging looks and it's from Lancome. And this is how the bottle looks. And it says like Lancome right at the top. This is a really, really cute bottle. I wish they had the bigger sizes, but it's fine. I smelt it at the store. I really like it because it's very soft and lightweight. So yeah, then I really went, hold on. I really went to Ulta again as well because I wanted to get another brow definer Um, because mine had broke. So this is from Anastasia Beverly Hills. It's in the color dark brown. Why I feel like I could never open anything. My nails are short and I still can't open stuff. I always use this for my eyebrows. Like literally this is like my old faithful. Like when I first started doing makeup. Then. I know I was telling y'all a little bit. That I wanted to pick up another dip brow because the one i picked up from nyx does not have a lot of product in it and my crazy behind i literally first of all let me let me show y'all because i'm probably not even gonna be explaining this right so basically it has like two different tools it has the dip tool and then it also has the spoolie me not paying attention or recognizing that it had like two different tools i literally dipped this inside of the product and mind you nyx know they wrong for this this is what the product comes in there's nothing in there and if I'm not mistaken, I think this was like $16 and some change. So they know this. They know they're wrong for that. I could be lying because I really don't remember. But they know they're wrong for that. So. Anastasia knows she's wrong for this too. <laughs> so I got this dip brow uh, pomade. And this is also in the color dark brown this will actually be my first time using this one um so i'm super excited to see like how my brows will turn out honestly like i've been doing like a lot of experimenting like when it comes to like my makeup because before i would only like stick to like one routine but i see now that like i'm experimenting and doing a lot of different stuff to my makeup like my makeup been turning out so good then i picked up this brow freeze brow styling wax did i need it no did i get it yes so 
this is how it looks. Yo, am I weak? Yeah, I'm weak. I'm weak. So this is how it looks. Just like a clear wax for the brows. So I can't wait to see how this works, especially because I just got my brows freshly done. So I'm going to try to be serving some looks on the cruise with my makeup. And then I, I love lip gloss. I love lipsticks. And when I was checking out, I seen these um, ColourPop lipsticks. And was, not lipsticks, lip glosses. And I was like, yo. Oh. Okay, let me try this. Because that side is taped and I'm struggling. So this one is called Roundabout. It's like a nudie color. Although this is like a gloss itself, I think I honestly will put like another gloss on top of it. But I love how it makes my lips look. Then this one is called Partly Rowdy. Oh, and these are actually plumping glosses. I didn't even notice when you just be shopping to be shopping. Oh, wait. Hold on. Yeah, these are pumping, pumping glosses. And this is more like a clear, kind of like nudish. Like, both of them are like nudish, but this one is more like a clear clearer style with like glitter but yeah i saw these and i was like mm, let me get them so these are my lips look oh now i know i told y'all i was ending this vlog yesterday but <laughs> clearly i did not end it because i'm still talking to y'all and i know i may be outfit repeating far as this shirt goes and maybe my whole sweatpants i don't care i'll be trying to throw on the most comfortable outfit ever because your girl does not get dressed up all the time baby i'm a graphic tee sweats kind of girl like i don't get dressed up all the time but i just <laughs> left walgreens i feel like my list keep getting longer and longer of all the things that i need for this trip and i think it's because like we're gonna be on a boat for like it's a ship we're gonna be on a ship for five days so i feel like my list keep getting longer and longer so one i have an order that i need to go pick up from target then i came here to walgreens really quickly because i was like you know what i need another little body wash and i thought they wasn't gonna have a micellar water because i was not seeing the smaller version but thankfully right when i was getting ready to check out i found it i got this clairol root touch up just this is not even for the trip necessarily. It's just more so since I'm getting into like bleaching my wigs and stuff like that. Just in case I like over bleach a wig, I'll have this on deck already. And I ordered one at Target, but I did not realize that it was dark brown and not black. So I had to grab one for Walgreens. Then when I was packing my freaking makeup, I was like, I need to re-up on another NYX eyebrow pencil because I use the Anastasia. Anastasia. <laughs> I use the Anastasia Beverly Hills and the NYX eyebrow pencil when I do my brows. And I was like, I need another one. And then when I was looking for, this all started from when I was looking for a makeup to like put aside for the trip, like trying to figure out like, I'm over here staring. I want to make sure like nobody's staring at me, but this all started when I was looking for makeup to put aside from the trip. I was like, I still need to re up on a few more things. So the only thing that I was not able to find was this NYX lip liner um, in the color dark brown beauty. 
but honestly i'm not about to go back to ulta and i have enough brown lip liners so i'm just going to put that on my list for things i need to get at another time because i'm not going back to ulta i can't i can't i really really can't um <laughs> I done been to that store like two times in this vlog already. So I'm just now leaving Walgreens. Um, I'm about to stop at the bank really quickly. Then I'm about to go to the shoe store. I'm finally about to go to the shoe store. And then um, I need to go to Target to pick up my order. I need to go to Publix and I need to give me something to eat. And y'all, this morning when I was headed to the gym with my mom, I was on TikTok and I seen this TikTok and they was talking about how 49 people who just returned back to the port of Miami tested positive for freaking COVID-19. Mom was like, girl, you need to get some freaking vitamins. You need to be taking your elderberry on there and you need to be taking some vitamin C. <laughs> So I already had some elderberry zinc gummies that wasn't open. And so I need to stop in Publix because I need to get some vitamin C and they also had it on sale. Like this lady brought me back um, a whole magazine coupon book. Cause she was like, girl, you need to get these vitamins. So that's why I'm stopping at Publix. Y'all, I'm just getting back home and i want to come on camera and show y'all what i got so i could close this vlog out officially because i feel like it's been going on and on and on and on and on so like i said i had to go to Publix because i need to give me some vitamin c so i got these gummies the shoes that i got from the Shoe store were $17.19. They're by Bamboo. I don't know why the lid is off the box like this. My mom throw this box away anyway. They're by Bamboo and this is how they look. I got them in a size 11 just for the width. So I'm about to throw that in my suitcase. I already showed y'all what I got from Walgreens. I don't think I need to run through that again, but I will just in case y'all skip through the video. I got this micro brow pencil in the color Espresso from NYX. I got this Garnier um, Skin Active Meister Cleansing Water. I got the travel size because I already have a bigger bottle. And thank God the lady said she was going to ring me up in cosmetics because I was looking all over the store for this and I did not find it, but it was literally in front of the register. So if I would have checked out in another location, I would have missed it and would have had to go to another store to get it. Then I just got another little body wash. Um, this is Dove. It's refreshing cucumber and green tea. Then like I was telling y'all, I got the Clairol Root Touch Up just in case, you know, like in the future, if I over bleach my wigs, this wig I didn't over bleach it because I caught it before it was about to start over bleaching um because some of the bleach kind of like seep through because my bleaching process it was my first time so it was very thin next time I need to make it more thicker which I thought I was making it thicker but it would have took more powdered bleach for me to do that like I would have just been wasting product basically so yeah um I got this so I'm gonna like go touch up some small parts of the wig where the bleach got on the hair and lighten the hair a little bit but it's not like super obvious then i went to pick up my order from target so i have another root touch up this like i was telling y'all is in the color dark brown so i'm gonna just you know keep it for future use i got a disposable camera so i'm gonna pack that and then i got this shimmer lights shampoo because when i went to the beauty supply store early in this vlog i was supposed to be picking up the shampoo but i messed around and picked up the conditioner i mean it works the same but 
I literally did not recognize that until I got home and was using it and I was like why the heck is this not foaming up and it's because it was conditioner instead of shampoo so I picked up the shampoo but yes that is the end of the vlog ladies and gents thank y'all so much for watching make sure y'all comment down below as well as give me a thumbs up as well as if you're not subscribed to the channel make sure y'all subscribe and the next time y'all see me meet me in freaking dominican republic on this cruise peace out